Hi, this is Susan Sanford from Vineyard Complementary Medicine. This series is starting a sequence of videos that's going to go through how to set up posture and alignment. It comes from a program that Sarah Meeks started. It's a site-specific posture re-education program made specifically for osteoporosis treatment and management, but I find it's completely applicable to everybody now that we're now spending most of our lives in a forward bent position. Really the goal is ultimately to keep us in our ultimate ideal alignment, make sure our posture is as perfect as it can be, so that takes the stress off of our head, neck, shoulders, and spine, and allows us to have the least amount of compression, because that's kind of the culprit, what happens with osteoporosis, you get compression in your spine, and we're gonna to try to undo that. So today's video, to start with, I'm gonna set our foundation, and I'm gonna show you the four exercises that really set you up for success with the rest of the series. The four exercises I'm gonna show you are, is a decompression position. Although it seems like you're not doing anything, that is in fact an exercise that's really, really important. So we're gonna do decompression, head press, shoulder press, and then a leg lengthener. And that will be our foundation for the rest of the series as we go through. So, what you're gonna do is lie on your back. What you wanna do is bend your knees, put yourself in the most comfortable position possible. Your palms are up, when in doubt, your thumbs are out. And what you want to make sure is that your arms are in the same plane. So it's the same vertical plane. So if your shoulders are really rounded forward because of tight chest muscles, right, your elbows are now falling below your shoulder. So if that's the case and you know, that's something that is an opportunity for improvement until you get there, get a towel and put it under your elbows so that your shoulder and elbow are in the same plane and in, in line. So, Decompression position, knees are bent, feet are flat. Try to get your back as you know neutral as possible. So everyone's neutral is a little different. So you kind of roll forward, get a big space, flatten your back, and then just go halfway in between wherever your happy place is. Thumbs are out, palms are up, arms are about 15 to 20 degrees away from your body. And then head and neck alignment some of us have a little bit more of a forward head than others. If you do, then your chin is gonna be lifted up a little bit. You want to accommodate that by propping yourself up with a towel or a small little pillow so that your forehead and your chin, just like your arm, are level and in the same plane, okay? So, head alignment, shoulder and elbow alignment, knees are bent, Spine is in a neutral position, and you just hang here for a good, I would say at least five minutes. Five minutes is a long time, we're not gonna do that. I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. But while you're doing that, work on your breathing. You know, just appreciate how your stomach rises and falls. As the breath comes in, expand, and then kind of use your rib cage as a bellow. So start in your belly, fill up your belly fill up your rib cage, and then creep the breath as high as you can, really into where, you know, where your chest is. Avoid breathing with your neck. So lie here for five minutes in your decompression position and do some breathing. The decompression position is ideal to decompress your spine because studies show that this is the position of the least compression of your spine. Sitting, you get double compression from gravity and then the pressure of your chair. Standing, of course, you get compression from the um, from gravity and also, you know, at least it's it's some shock absorption between your feet, your hips, and your low back. But still, you you know, standing is compressive. Sitting is the most compressive. This is the best decompression position possible. So we're setting our foundation. Appreciate and notice the symmetry of where your feet are, of where your, your buttocks and your hip are, your shoulders, your arms, and even your head. All right, so say we've done that for five minutes. 
Now we're gonna move on to head press. So you're gonna pretend like you are on a beach, the back of your head, right between, you know, if your eyeballs were, you know, we're here, right, where, you know, kind of, you, you know, go right through your eyeballs, the back of your head, that is gonna press into the floor. As you do that, your forehead and your chin stay level and they go press together. If you want to confirm you're doing this correctly, you reach back and feel those muscles activate as you press in. Head press is different than a chin tuck. Okay, that's a completely different exercise. A head press is activating all those muscles to pull your head and neck back into its ideal alignment. Ideal alignment is ears, shoulders, and hips in a plumb line. So start with five head presses. Check and make sure you're doing it correctly. So hold it for five seconds, five times, and just do one set. Move it on down to our shoulders. So now we all, all of us, anyone that lives life, we have a tendency to roll our shoulders forward. Okay. And what we're doing is we're making a very small movement by just pressing our shoulders back like this. It's a small little movement. We're not getting the shoulder blades or the chest involved. That comes later. So it's not this. It's, okay, see the difference? It's a small, small motion. Shoulder press. So go back into your decompression position. See how that's the foundation? Get into your position and just a small, small movement to just really tell your shoulders that that's where they belong. Avoid lifting up your chest. Again, that will come later. It's just a shoulder press. Again, five seconds, five times. So now we've done three of them. We've done the decompression, head press, shoulder press, and then my favorite, the leg lengthener, where you straighten one leg out. Let's see if I can get you. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. Okay, let's see if we can get my full feet in there. Okay, so leg lengthener is going to decompression position. Straighten one leg out, okay? My toes are back and I'm leading with my heel, sliding my leg away from me as if I was gonna put my footprint leading with my heel on the wall in front of me. I'm sliding my leg away. I'm not really lengthening my leg. What I'm doing is I'm creating space between my pelvic bone and my rib cage, right? We got our box. We're trying to make our box a little more open than it was. Reach it, five seconds. I like to do three of them on each side. Bend back into your decompression position, switch legs, toes back, leading with the heel, slide your leg away. Avoid trying to jack up the opposite side. Keep this the opposite side long, just make the opposite sliding leg longer. Five seconds. And then do five times. So to recap, decompression position, hold it for five minutes. Head press, making sure that your forehead and chin are in the same plane, feeling the back of your neck, making sure that those muscles get activated. Shoulder press, small when in doubt, thumbs are out, very small motion. And then the leg lengthener. There you go. We've set your foundation for the next um, set of videos in this series for um, Meek's program, site specific osteoporosis treatment and management program. And I just think it's the best program ever for posture and alignment. Thank you, Susan Sanford from Vineyard Complementary Medicine.